Hello Taurus. Welcome to your reading Taurus. Let's see what spirit wants you to know. Taurus, this is a collective message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and the North Node. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your situation. Okay, we have a friendship, we have exercise. For some of you, you might be considering changing your lifestyle, uh, getting in some sort of kind of fitness routine. You like to work out, gym, at the gym, <laughs> right? It might be a case. Uh, we have truth, we have an apology, distance as a side message, and we have this friendship crossroads at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so for some of you, Taurus, you uh, might be, you might receive an apology from your friend. This is someone who wants to make amends and say sorry. Okay, I feel that it is something to do with the truth. It might be a case that uh, they did something and it raised your eyebrow and you simply kind of don't trust them or you might have have hurt something and it doesn't make sense therefore you might be quite careful this is someone if that's the case this person is aware they want to come forward here with an apology they want to uh, appear in front of you as an honest person uh, they want to confess here something I'm getting also and they want to bring some sort of clarity to the situation with this exercise card um, with with those those trainers here I'm getting also that kind of vibe of you maybe slowly in the middle of making decision of walking away because we have a crossroad so choices different options I see this card also as a decision making therefore you might be indeed at the moment at the crossroads what to do with a particular situation how to approach the subject should you stay or should you go should you walk away we have a distance card so for some of you it might be a case that um, you are in a long distance relationship or you are in touch with someone who is at the distance and this person might be quite significant for your heart we have this crossroads here yeah, it's like a making decision maybe for some of you, you are thinking of relocating of moving away or changing your current place of residence doesn't have to be but i'm seeing also someone who might be indeed um decide to take to uh, to uh, travel to see you or you might want to see them uh, this is someone whose initial i have an s okay so they uh, first name or second name uh, might be starting on s or their surname as well or it might be yours okay so please take it how it resonates s s We'll see. We have a page of wands for you, Taurus. I also have X, okay? So it might be of significance. We have a three of cups, so this energy of friendship, celebration, message it's coming message that will bring happiness joy you might receiving some you might receive an invitation to spend time to spend more time with your friends or there will be some sort of gathering event that you might take part what else we have for taurus i'm getting birthday party for some of you we have the emperor we have a three of pentacles yeah it might be so, for instance you might receive an invitation uh, to a gathering um i see a birthday party an older male energy is showing up here with this emperor it can be a father figure it can be a grandfather it can be older brother that's very specific it doesn't have to be I have a 
three of wands what else we have here for taurus you might be dealing with aries i have a knight of swords mm, some sort of accomplishment here is showing up taurus i see you receiving maybe a result for some of you, you might be studying okay and it's like you are taking some sort of final tests or exams i'm seeing you uh, receiving a very good result okay very very good result feel you be some of you you've studied very very hard and we have wheel of fortune so yeah good luck good fortune here something will bring so much happiness here taurus three of wands mm -hmm. and it's because you took some sort of action uh it was not like you were waiting for this thing to just come in a kind of you know just come to you i feel that you took certain action here and you've been waiting for a long time because he's holding the ace of wands here that gentleman and i feel that you know you took action already and now you are waiting for this thing to manifest or come to you and it's coming it will bring so much happiness and good luck and good fortune so something here will change 360 degrees you know but it will be a positive change I'm getting very strong energy for some of you. You might be studying or you're in a college or you are, uh, took some sort of course to upgrade your skills or profession here. But I'm seeing you being uh, very, very happy with it because you're manifesting uh, overall stability. This is also divine masculine energy. Male, female, please take it how it resonates. But it is showing here, Taurus, that you have someone who uh, it's re reliable who who is very loyal and who is very down to earth and i feel that this person here wants to talk to you okay i'm getting however very strong masculine energy from this person this is someone who wants to talk with those pages they want to have a conversation i feel they do want to clear the air so that indeed it might be uh for some of you a friendship situation that the friend wants to kind of clarify something uh clear the air with you in and this com conversation here it's coming and i feel that you know if you indeed feel that this person should apologize they will apologize for for something here that they might have caused but overall you have a very very beautiful cards here Taurus you're manifesting an overall stability side message here so we have a king of pentacles we have a nine of cups six of wands two of cups okay so as a side message here Taurus you have someone here so, who sees you as they dream come true they want your attention and overall they do want to have relationship with you you might be dealing here taurus with the fire sign sagittarius uh, leo aries but you have someone who craves your attention and who sees you as they dream come true i feel this person is well suited they doing well in their life this is someone who has so much to offer but it's getting very strong uh -huh. and <laughs> taurus I'm seeing here someone who really wants to be in relationship with you. However, you have also someone else here. This Queen of Swords, you might be dealing with Aquarius very, very strongly. I'm getting Aquarius or Libra, Pisces energy as well. It looks like it looks like this 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 energy represented by the Queen of Swords. Uh, it's still kind of present in your life okay that connection here and i will uh, risk saying that that it was that it represents a connection uh, brought enormous amount of uncertainty 
You might be dealing also with Pisces. I have very strong Pisces actually energy. Um, that second connection here that it's showing up, rep starting with the moon, needs some sort of clarity. And I feel that clarity is coming. Some sort of very important communication is showing up here. Because someone indeed wants to clear the air with you. I feel that, you know, this is something that you might be momentarily thinking about and you just don't know when it went wrong, you know. At the moment, there might be a no contact situation, but I feel that there will be communication. The communication is coming, especially with this Ace of Swords and this Queen of Swords. It's like someone here wants to talk. It might be you, it might be this person. It, and, but overall, the hint is that it might feel that, you know, this thing, it's done. That you close the cycle with this person, it's done. Right? But um, you might feel that. But it seems that it's not. Because you have a ten of cups here. This is, uh, I feel that. I feel that this this is someone who is quite important for you, Taurus. Because at some point you saw this person uh, as someone who, with whom you might have this happily ever after. Someone who understands you. Someone who feels like home. But it feels like it never really kind of manifests with the hanged man. And we have this moon energy. Pisces starting. Pisces closing this 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 mini spread that it's showing up it might be a case here Taurus that you feel unfinished business with someone or equally someone feels unfinished business with you okay but you know you might be coming from the place here Taurus that you saw this person as they happily ever after and it might be a case that you still see them okay because hangman at the end it's like a dot at the end of the sentence that's it i see them as my ten of cups however that the whole dynamics the whole relationship it's very unstable with the moon it's like you don't know where you stand with this person something here it's it's not fully uh, clarified it's not fully clear it's like you are in the dark when it comes to when it comes to uh this connection, this person, this person's approach. It's like you don't know what they want. You might be dealing also, Taurus, with the fixed sign, with the with the world card. So it can be another Taurus, Aquarius, we mentioned as well, Scorpio, Leo. So I see here uh, like a two people. Okay. One here seeing you as they dream come true. They want your attention. They want relationship. But momentarily, you might be still kind of thinking about this another person here that brought enormous amount of uncertainty to this connection. We have a fool at the bottom of the deck. We have Aries, Aquarius energy, new beginning, new beginning. For some of you, you might be traveling. I feel that it will make you feel very happy. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Fool, it is like a travel. But overall, I'm seeing you uh, entering a new chapter in your life. Very nice. Could you please show us the past? For Taurus, we have a Seven of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. Queen of... Uh, King of Swords. Mm-hmm. At the bottom of the deck, Eight of Swords. It feels like something here uh, was stuck. It didn't have a chance to fully take off, you know, to fully kind of take this 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 situation here into the next level. With this, so you know, I have um, maybe I can can I yeah love related situation with the King of Cups. Okay, so for some of you Taurus, this is like a love related situation. Someone here pushed you away. I feel that you've tried to work on this situation with the Eight of Pentacles. You've been very dedicated to upgrade this, the circumstances between the two of you. But with this King of Swords, uh, someone uh, 
someone pushed you away and I feel this person was momentarily quite harsh with their words. They might have made some sort of comments, you know, uh, and I feel this person has a tendency or had a tendency to kind of uh, made you feel momentarily down, you know, because of their comments, because of their attitude. This is someone who can be very, very, very clear when there is a need, when they feel there is a need to be clear when it comes to uh, expressing their point of view. But at the same time, this is someone who can be also quite harsh with their words. And I feel that you've dealt here with someone. And at the end, this is someone who pushed you away. And for some of you, when that happened, you might have focused on your work related situation. Therefore, you kind of distract yourself by putting um, more amount of, of energy uh, more energy let's say more energy towards you know everyday life like a work uh, work and and yes just work I would say with the eight of pentacles but I feel that overall you wanted to work on a certain situation but someone was unapproachable it's like they had this sort of the truth and uh, you keep your distance here is someone here yeah you see eight of swords someone feels stuck and ultimately they pushed you away with the seven of wands you've tried to work on the situation you are making an effort making an effort and I'm getting very strongly towards making an effort also with communication with regards to this person you tried to kind of you know uh, from time to time send them a message kind of let them know about you um, try to have a conversation but this is someone who is very closed off with the eight of swords it's like they made the decision that they they're keeping their distance it's 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 <sighs> mindset and at the end of the day this connection never had a chance to 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 be to be moved into the next level because of this person's attitude this is someone who imposed certain limitations on themselves. It's like they are stuck in certain mindset because maybe of their insecurities or maybe circumstances that they might have been in. But something here didn't work out and I feel that you've tried very hard to, to change the situation for the better. But it wasn't, uh, it was like one-sided. Mm -hmm. Could you please show me the future, the near future? We have a page of cups. Nine of wands. future for Taurus seven of swords okay page of Pentacles Taurus this is um, guidance from spirit this is an advice so your uh, <laughs> your future here came with in the form of an advice um, Taurus be aware of some sort of uh, communication that might appear um, as something very kind, something that someone is coming with the pure intentions here, something like this. I feel that you don't trust this person with the nine of wands. You've already don't trust something here. You have your guard up and I feel that you have a reasons because with the seven of swords, something here, or sorry, someone here lied. They had secrets a day were to face. They were telling you something else and they were acting behind your back back in a in a in a in a completely opposite way. I feel this person lied to you, they had secrets they were to face. They are coming with some sort of uh, it can be an apology. Oh, we had this an apology true. Uh, they want to co come forward as they're telling you the truth that they are honest. Uh, but this is someone who I feel ultimately betrayed your trust, you know, at the end of the day. They're coming with a solid, they, 
They want to appear that they're coming with a solid offered offer. But again, Taurus, we have two pages. This, this person doesn't have much to offer. Maybe just words. For some of you, you might feel that it's an empty word. They want to appear that they have so much to offer. Um, huh? There was an ending between the two of you. Mm -hmm. This is someone, yes, this person betrayed your trust. And it felt metaphorically that they stabbed you in the back. Betrayed your trust. It may be a case, Doris, that they said something here or they've acted in a questionable way. This, this is something to do, I feel, with love-related situation. Maybe you kind of, you know, place your trust here in, some, in someone and this person betrayed your trust. They, 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 they were talking about your situation here. It might be a case it doesn't have to be, of course. But I'm seeing um, is someone who will want to appear as, as they have a true and pure intentions towards you, Taurus, coming with some sort of potential here, like, a, like an offer, can we meet up, you know, they might give you a gift, who knows, with this, with this, with this page of pentacles. After all, this is an energy that represents like a... Um, a gift, right? A gift that you can touch, right? So, so, so some sort of form of a, maybe a flowers, uh, maybe a token of affection, you know, they might buy you something, they might invite you and they will pay for, 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 for instance, for, for a coffee or for a dinner. This is someone who indeed are coming here in the near future. They will send you a message. They will. They, this message, it's you know, with the page of uh, cups, it's it's something like you know, they will, they might come across shy. Um, they won't be very confident here because of happened between the two of you. But this is someone who wants to reconcile. But with the nine of wands and seven of swords, I feel that you have your guard up and you have your reasons, because this person betrayed your trust. You just don't trust this person. And I feel this person played mind games because we have the swords. I know it's not the five of swords that is a major energy of playing mind games, but seven of swords is the sneak, someone who's been sneaky, therefore they kind of had a plan. You know, they, they acted uh, on purpose here. Therefore, mind games indeed might have been involved in this situation. I feel you just don't trust them. I'm saying that they're coming here, you know, you might end a friendship with this person. They want to hear, come and apologize. You have your guard up, you know, you don't fully trust this person. I feel that, you know, um, in order for you to kind of restore something with regards to this connection, this person will really have to earn your trust. So I'm not seeing you particularly, uh, you know, uh, very very happy or kind of um i'm not seeing you uh, particularly um you know open you know or welcoming them with an open arms i feel that you will take your time and this is the right approach because this person really needs to earn your trust because i feel that there was an instance that they betrayed your trust and it can be colleague it can be a friend again we have this friendship energy here as well Mm, it can be a family member, it can be a relative or person of romantic interest. So please take how it resonates. Let's see the love life. Could you please show us the love life? Taurus's love life. We have chariots. So Taurus, someone here wants to chase you. The chaser. Ace of Swords. Oh, this 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 person wants to talk. They do want to talk with you. I have strong Cancerian energy. Oh, they're trying to manifest you. They will they will they will do everything. They will try every single. I feel this person will try everything to kind of uh, uh, for you to believe them. Okay, and we have the Moon. Why we have the Moon? And we have a four of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. Ch um, <laughs> I wanted to say chaser. Taurus, you have a chaser here. Chaser, someone here is chasing uh, to communicate with you. 
with the Ace of Swords, this is someone who's trying to manifest you, who's trying to manifest a change. I feel this person will try to um, clarify some sort of uh, uh, uncertainty here, you know. But it feels that they're still holding back, Taurus. They're still holding back with this Four of Pentacles. It's like they're trying to clarify the, something here with you and they will try to be so per persuasive with this with this magician. It's like this person try every single thing to kind of convince you to believe them, but they are, uh, they are still holding back. Therefore, they are not fully transparent here, Taurus. You may be dealing with Pisces. I have Cancerian energy. I also have Gemini Virgo. Okay. But I'm seeing here someone who wants to uh, clear the air, who wants to have like a constructive conversation with the Ace of Swords. Next to Magician, they're trying to manifest you. I feel this person is thinking about you at night in a very intense way. And they will try everything everything to for you to believe them they are very determined to to gain your trust again but there is something about them Taurus that they're still holding back therefore they might be not fully telling you the full truth it's like they are holding something there but this person here I'm getting you have someone who will want to clarify things with you and bring more uh, who kind of want to um, make this doubt go away when it comes to this situation, okay? But they are not fully... There is something that they're still holding back. Therefore, they are not 100% transparent. But they will... Oh, they will do their best for you to believe them, okay? Could you please show me the outcome? For the near future, immediate future for Taurus. We have the Hermit. We have two of Pentacles and we have an Ace of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands. Taurus, I, I see you in the immediate future going, you know, being in a Hermit mode, uh, re-evaluating certain things in your life and making practical plan with the Two of Wands. You might feel that deep inside something here needs change or moderation or some sort of adjustment in order to make something work. I feel that you have your eyes on the price and I feel that you know exactly what I'm saying. In order to have this fulfillment and you will gain this fulfillment. However, here with the Ten of Wands, something here needs to give. You are releasing some sort of burden. And that's a very, very significant energy when it comes to the overall energy for your reading. You are releasing burden that's been exhausting, tiring, draining. One more go, you know, one more push and you'll be, you, you will have a time to sit back and take a long deep breath, you know, to, to relax. Because with the Ten of Wands, it is a sign, Taurus, that something has been draining emotionally, maybe even you know physically for you it's like you're carrying here this burden by your own it might be a case that you are responsible you have so many responsibilities here and you just feel that you you know you need to toughen up and just 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 do it but it doesn't mean that it's easy spirit is saying here that one will push and you will release this burden you are releasing this ten of wands whatever that might signify for you whatever that might signify for you sorry so something here that's been exhausted, draining, you will detach from it very, very soon. And in the near future here, Taurus, as, a, as, a, as an outcome, I'm, I'm seeing you being in a hermit mode, reevaluating and making practical plans. It's like you, you might feel that something needs moderation, something needs some sort of adjustment in order to manifest this thing that you have your eyes on. Uh, some maybe something here needs a different approach therefore I'm seeing you very very deep in your thoughts however it is like a productive time that will manifest in you making adjustments or uh, 
you know rethinking this 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 plan because two of wands it's planning for the future and with this globe here that represents earth it's like you have your goal you have your eyes on the prize and with the ace of cups you will manifest this you see he has this hand on the ace of wands therefore you will manifest this and it will give you so much happiness and joy very positive very positive outcome here you have but indeed i feel that you might deeply inside feel that something here maybe uh, needs more time or you have to rethink something or you have to think about it more um, just you have to think about it more yeah but overall i'm seeing you achieving something that will give you opportunity and chance possibility to to bring so much fulfillment and joy and happiness to your life represented by the ace of cups you might be dealing with virgo also taurus and most importantly you are very close releasing this burden this this exhaustion that that thing that made you feel so so tired emotionally tired very 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 nice because 10 it's an ending you know 10 represents endings therefore something that's been really really difficult and challenging for you taurus you will drop it very very soon you will release it and you will feel free in order to uh to in order to kind of uh, manifest this 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 new beginning here that will bring so much fulfillment Taurus, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly appreciate you. Taurus, have a fantastic and wonderful day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. Take care. Bye.